Mariah Janos and Evan Lazar here getting you ready for Sunday's game against the Cardinals. And we're taking a look at one of the younger players in the organization today, Kyle Duggar. Uh, after the game against Baltimore, we were singing his praises. He had a, an amazing performance. And then fast forward a week, not so much. Now he's getting a lot of criticism for the game against Houston. How are you thinking that he's looking right now? Well, that's a young player in a nutshell right there, right? Is, you know, some weeks he's going to look great. Some weeks he's going to have some growing pains. And I think the biggest thing that you're seeing is that against the run, this guy is dynamite. When he's moving forward towards the line of scrimmage, whether he's taking on blockers or getting in space and, and tackling guys in space and pursuit and speed and physicality, all those things check every single box for Kyle Duggar. Reminds me a ton of Jamal Adams, right? That sort of player that when you get him into coverage, it can get a little bit shaky, right? Man coverage, zone coverage in the back half of the field. It's not always perfect, but when he's moving in the closer to the line of scrimmage, playing in the box, filling in run support, that's where he can really thrive. And I think what we saw in man coverage out of him against Houston, he did give up a couple of catches uh, to their tight ends in man coverage. And one of the things I do want to point out is that in college, he was a free safety in college, playing off the line of scrimmage, back in the back end, and sort of like a Devin McCourty role, not a man-to-man -man cover tight end type of role. So the one thing that I'm really seeing with him is his technique at the top of the route is a little bit sloppy right now. His feet get a little bit stationary and he doesn't keep his feet moving and he doesn't have that route anticipation that you would like to see from a man coverage guy. Both of those things are things that come with more experience in that type of role. Once he realizes, you know, okay, this tight ends, you know, this release, this route combination, this alignment, they're probably going to cross the field on me or they're probably going to get vertical on me. He'll start to be able to anticipate some of those movements. And I know that there's a lot of guys in that locker room, like a Stefan Gilmore, who's excellent at anticipating routes. That can certainly teach him those types of things. So keep in mind, folks, that this is not a guy that played a whole lot of man coverage in college. He did not play a lot in the box. He did not come down and guard tight ends a whole lot in college. So it's going to take him some time to develop those skills. This segment is powered by Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping using the code PRESSPASS20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com with promo code PRESSPASS20. Take the leap and join the Manscaped movement today. Now you said Kyle Duggar thrives against the run. The Cardinals have a guy that can run pretty dang well in Kyler Murray, their quarterback. Is Duggar the guy to stop Kyler Murray, do you think? This is why Kyle Duggar was drafted is because Bill Belichick looked at his schedule coming into this year and he saw Russell Wilson and Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson and Lamar Jackson and Kyler Murray. And he said to himself, I better get a physical downhill safety that can take out some of these running quarterbacks that we are going to face. So the role that he played against Lamar and at times against Deshaun was that nickelbacker role right in the slot, mm -hmm. over the slot, usually on the weak side of the formation so that when they do zone read he has the quarterback option of that zone read element and what that allows the Patriots to do is let everybody else kind of funnel towards the running back in the in the read option Duggar's got the quarterback if the quarterback ends up taking the ball so I think we're going to see a lot of that now Kyler is particularly slippy in, in, in the open field. He's definitely a guy that's extremely elusive. And I think in a lot of ways, he has that over Lamar Jackson. Lamar might have more straight line speed than Kyler Murray does, but Murray's got that wiggle. Uh, and that's something that you need to bring the whole house to take him down, right? It's not going to just be Kyle Duggar in the flat trying to dance with Kyler Murray all the time. Duggar has got to kind of hold him up and then hopefully the rest of the team kind of comes around to, t to clean up the trash and finish off the play. So he's going to be on the backside of those zone reads a whole lot. He's going to have the quarterback. That's going to be his responsibility a ton. And that's basically uh, their running game is 44% inside zone read. That, that's what they do. That's their base concept. And Bill Belichick this morning, I asked him about it and he said the zone read is basically their running game. You know, that's a Massive part of what they do. So Kyler uh, is going to have Kyle Duggar in his face a whole lot on Sunday. Similarly, if you go watch that Seattle game last week, Jamal Adams was in Kyler Murray's face a whole lot in that game too. So certainly a similar role, I think, this week for Duggar as he played against the Baltimore Ravens and what Jamal Adams did last week against Kyler in Seattle. And it'll definitely be a fun matchup to watch. For all of our Patriots coverage, head to clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Patriots Press Pass.